Hey Scorpio, let's do your reading. So I'm looking at somebody that's on your mind, the person that you, I believe, are uh, in not communicating with or not having clear communication with, and how they feel, next intent, their intentions, true feelings, what's hidden, and possible next action. Let's get started. I'm already feeling a three pentacles, strong three pentacles, really good outcome. Um, Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, a lot of love is what I'm picking up on. So, but I do, yeah, I am feeling separation. What's the three? Okay, let's just get started. Okay, nine of pentacles, a lot of love. So, blessings, wish fulfillment. Okay, just like I said. Um, ten of torches. So, ten of wands. So, it's been like a long, hard road. I'm also feeling strong chariot energy, forward motion, um, obstacles, though. Okay, a, a burden. It's been it's, it's been a long hard road. Nine of Pentacles. Um, you know that actually has a strong kind of like an independence feel. You guys, we may do a yes no question at the end if you want to be thinking about a um, question. So, Prince of Wands. Oh, I think actually this think this is a knight of wands. So definite action coming towards coming forward, but there's burden. This knight of pentacles is is um could be independence of abundance. Let's look at you. How do you feel? Four, five of cups. So you feel sad about this, left out, not understanding, confused, maybe misunderstood, like where did they go? Lots of pie. I'm getting Pisces energy. Um, three of Cups. I Scorpio, you may be willing to put up with more from this person than typically. That Three of Cups is union, celebration. It's you know being together. It's got an element of, you know, like for some reason, not typically this card doesn't, but it feels, has an element of um, tolerance. Like for some reason you have a really soft heart for this person. Ooh, the devil. So the devil card, Capricorn energy is, you know, sometimes it's not able to let go. There's something about this person that you see, can't seem to let go of. Or I wonder if you're idealizing them or you're just very accepting of their flaws even. Let's look at their energy. Six of Pentacles. Somebody who seems generous. Six of Pentacles is giving. There it is, the Ten of Cups I picked up on earlier. Hello, focus. There we go. So Ten of Cups. So this person seems to be pretty generous. Now, has that been happening with you? I'm not sure. Something inside you sees that part of them, though. Hopefully you're right. The Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment, happiness, a lot of love. So maybe you sense that this person has all these great traits in them. Now, remember, if they don't show them to you and you don't benefit from them, they're not... You really do have to focus on what you're actually seeing and getting, right? Not just the potential of something. A lot of times we just get heartbroken over someone's potential, but not them not, you know, showing it or giving it to us. So there's justice. So you really do see this person as a very fair and just person. They could be legal. There could be a Libra. They could be Libra. But they are somebody who is... Um, Likes balance, peace, harmony. Maybe they feel like they're better. It's safer on their own. Let's look at the recent past. Okay, so three swords. So they're been, they've been hurt. The three of swords in reverse. This is strange because my cards are not in reverse. The re, three of swords. Yeah, they're all in the upright. 
So the three of swords in reverse is, is, you know, healing after a heartbreak. So I'm also on along these lines, I'm getting a uh, four of swords as well, which is what the heck with my camera. Sorry, guys. Jeez. Okay. Three of swords. So somebody who has been hurt terribly pain, a lot of pain, but has turned it around, like beat, uh, overcome adversity. Two of Pentacles. What do I do? Two of Pentacles juggling. Two, you know, it's kind of like trying to maintain balance of being hurt. These two cards together have the, an element of, you know, not wanting to be hurt. An element of taking a chance and not taking a chance or taking a chance or playing it safe. Let's think. Let's see one more. King of Cups. Yeah. How do I balance love and not let myself go so fully that I get hurt, that I chance getting hurt? King of Cups, a lot of love. Holding that love though. See, he's got the fish, the cup with the fish, this strong Pisces energy. He's got the fish in his hand, but he's not actually taking action towards it. He's asleep on the job. So you may see this as kind of like somebody's putting in low effort. So, you know. <clears throat> but I feel like you're really tolerant of this person. Maybe too tolerant. So nine of cups. Wow, look at that. So this nine of cups, the nine of cups is blessings. It's... See, when we got this Nine of Pentacles earlier, I was feeling this Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is blessings. It's a, it's a lot of love. But here's what I'm seeing again. It's like there's five cups down here and four cups up here. It's like, you, it's kind of like there's this nine, there's this full wish fulfillment. There's Nine of Cups, but it, we haven't reached full potential. There's still, you know, cups that have not been reached yet. And... It's kind of like you feel it or you see it, but this person is holding back. I wonder if you would really even want this person if they showed you everything. Because I'm, I'm curious why they're holding back so much. <laughs> holding back so much. The hangman. Yeah, this, this person is, you know, maybe not in a very emotionally mature place or it's kind of like it looks like they just kind of got over something or they're struggling to get over something. So they're holding on to their cup of love. Maybe they'll give a little pullback, not let it reach full vulnerability, you know, three of um, wands. I mean, this is definite progress. This what this is, is somebody who probably has a bit of an avoidant you know, attachment style. So you get a little, it's like they get into it, they feel it, but then they pull back, which is putting you in a kind of an obsessive place because it's like a, when somebody, when you get a reward and then it's taken away and then you get a reward and then it's taken away and then you get a reward and it's taken away. It's like your system automatically is waiting for that next reward. It's like slot machines. It becomes addictive, you know. You do see a lot of potential with this person. So here they are again. Look at this. It, they're all in their emotions. There's that Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I tell you guys I saw it, felt Ten of Pentacles? And Ten of Cups. Did we get Ten of Cups? Yeah. I, told, I felt Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So here they both are. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Torches. So this person, the Seven of Wands, this person is always looking for red flags. Any little thing that can make them... I'm so sorry that can, you know, they can be on the lookout for, um, like a red flag, but there's a lot of passion here, but they're like on high alert and why? Because they are emotional. I wonder what, so it might be dealing with the Pisces, but the night, this is the night, the moon is about emotions and the unknown. And then you have 10 of pentacles. What do I want? See the thoughts here? Let's just get a couple for clarification. I want to see also like what are their next steps? 
Okay. Also, let's see what could be sabotaging. I think we already know it's the fear, but let's see what next steps are. I don't feel like it's over. In fact, for some of you, I don't even feel like you guys are totally off. I feel like it might feel like you're off because the communication kind of comes and goes. Oh, look at that. This moon card. This it must be a bonus, this night card, because there's the moon. Wow. So the moon card as uh, the card I just read thinking it was the moon card. But yeah, see this person is afraid. See these two people, the moon is crying. Once this animal is running away and there's a lot of emotion in between them. Wow. So it's just a matter of, you know, I think this person, you feel like you worry that when you're not in, it's the communication is unsteady. It's inconsistent. So, you know, I always feel like your best advice is to keep working on you, not limit yourself to somebody that's not good for you. Um, in fact, I think that keeping open and limiting yourself to somebody that's not good for you or not able to give fully c can, you know, create resist resistance or resentment in you versus if you keep yourself busy with other things, other people, then you aren't, so resist, you aren't, you're in a much healthier place mentally, emotionally. So when you, this person does come and go, you're like, oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's, I'll see you then or whatever. It's not as heavy. That way they can come slowly, you know, and, but until this person comes to you and says, Hey, I only want you to see me. You're not resentful because you're not tying yourself up. So bottom of the deck is Hierophant strength. Okay, what is this person's next actions? Okay, so I felt this. Did I tell you guys this? The four swords. This came out a lot in the in the pre-shuffle, or was feeling it. The four swords. This person, um, they just kind of have to retreat. So if you're up for it, you know, they they retreat and then they come forward with passion. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, three steps forward, one or two steps back. So I think the best thing to do probably is to um, keep yourself busy. If you want to even go here, if you want to keep going with this person, it's just kind of, they have an, a, a, you know, a dismissive attachment style is what it looks like. Page of Wands. So they'll retreat and then they'll message. They'll retreat and then they'll message. Look at this. But I do feel there's potential. I just think the major message here is not to let yourself get out of whack because you have someone inconsistent. You just don't want to limit yourself, you know, to somebody that is off and on because then it affects you negatively. Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups? And this also seems like somebody that has to figure it out for themselves. I feel like you may be struggling with, look, the Hierophant keeps showing up which is a strong, stable relationship, truth, clarity. Somebody is going to figure things out, but I think it takes time. Look at that judgment. So I think that you may be struggling with resentment. It's kind of like the, whenever they're pulled back it it's becomes, feels obsessive because you know, and I also think like high priestess, do we have high priestess? I feel like this person is you know kind of blocking their intuition but it's just a it's just a protective mechanism it's not that it's um, it's not that it's you know like those type of people that are just playing games this person i do has really you know solid good energy they do want this ten of cups but to them it's kind of like eh, i'm safer on my own so it's the two steps so just i think your deal is just not to um until they come to you and say hey i'm this is what I've decided, and I don't want you to see other people. Um, you know, I just think that you don't want to be in a place of one-itis, maybe. One-itis, you know, where you are all wrapped up in one person only. Four cups. Gosh, I sure was feeling this four cups, too. This is, yes, see that? Because 
Yes, yeah, see that? <laughs> see, see? Four cups. It's kind of like missing an opportunity or not seeing it. So I don't want you guys to be afraid or so tied up with somebody that can't give everything right now that you miss out on other opportunities and other experiences that you should have. And we all know people typically take us more serious when we have other things going on rather than when we're sitting around waiting for them only, right? I mean, I went through six years of someone not seeing my value and he didn't know I finally started to see someone else, but I was just when I was emotionally energetically pulling away this is literally just happening i haven't even told the other person yet it's so it's it's crazy but as soon as i was finally starting to feel feelings for someone else he had this huge epiphany uh, he just came to me and said he literally texted me i'm an avoidant i'm a dismissive avoidant and i was like oh my gosh and i was actually reading the book on attachment styles but, um, which I really want to get into. I'm going to start trying to teach that. Um, but you know what I'm also doing at the end of every video, I'm talking about something that I've been studying that I want to share with you guys, or I'm putting like that light glow over you where I'm visualizing you in a, you know, a, a just a glow of light and blessings and happiness and health. And did, all that's happening in the comments. So you guys, let's, you know, let's meet in the comments. But I, I definitely am putting some kind of intention or something special for you guys in the comments of every video and talking about it at the end of the video. This time, let's do the, um, I think I want to do several things in there. But we don't want to miss an opportunity. And also, when they energetically, like my situation, he energetically felt me he felt he was losing me and after six years <laughs> he and i finally start energetically falling you know feeling for someone else he out of, just is like oh my god has this epiphany that he loves me and that it's his fault and he's so sorry and he can't believe he's put me through what he's put me through it was crazy so i don't know if that's going to apply to you but it's like wow um there are some things i do want to share with you guys in the comments but let's do the yes, no, and then we'll pull an oracle. So you guys go ahead and clear your mind. Take some deep breaths. There's so much I want to do. I want to do meditations. I want to do, um, I want to teach you guys all the stuff I learn. And um, make sure you're getting sunshine, please, every day on your face without glasses so it, it can trigger the hormones behind your eyes or the glands. Okay, here we go. So now let's ask a, let's get an oracle. Shoot, I'm trying to keep the video shorter so I can do more. Wow, I understand that failure is only an opportunity to learn. You got definitely. Um, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I feel like this is you guys may be beating yourself up over something. I just feel like you're struggling with some sort of failure, resentment, regret. Got to gotta let that go. We're also going to start journaling. Right now we're just using the, the, uh, the notes, I mean the comments to journal. You can vent in the comments. Get that, get that you know, negativity out and you can just start. You can do a big rant in the comments, but just start it. If you like, don't want other people to you know, be brought down by your... By your you know negative that you need to get out just start the comment with rant and then you can rant away in the comments okay get it out of your chest you can type it out and delete it if you want you know see the big picture i'm mad about giraffe spirit How crazy is this? Look at this. So what is a giraffe? You think about the giraffe. Giraffes can see from a higher viewpoint, right? And then this is kind of crazy that we got failure and success, right? <laughs> so you're not somehow seeing the bigger picture. Maybe it has to do with this person and that they're not doing this to be mean or uncaring. They're just 
doing this, you know, because they're, maybe they're dysregulated emotionally. But this, this is not because of you. This, what they're doing, this in and out is not because of you. But you got to take care of you. So giraffes stretch upward to reach the treetops and look down from a high vantage point. When giraffe spirit appears, it's a sign to observe from a higher view. In all aspects of your life, it's time to stretch your neck out and broaden your view. Open your eyes to what others need or are experiencing. That was his whole reading. And see the big picture you fit into, no matter how great your wisdom, knowledge, or experience. You don't want to overlook details and connections that will help you better understand yourself and your circumstances. So stretch yourself. Look beyond what catches your attention at eye level and know that not everything is obvious as you might like it to be. Spirit will bestow upon you a new perspective that might make all the difference. Um... And then in the protection section, it says, are you sticking your neck out too far, reaching too high instead of looking around to see conditions on the ground? I don't, not, don't think, I think it's more the other way around. So it says align with your highest good and know that while perspective is important, transformation begins where you are. So yeah, I think you need a different um, understanding of this situation and why you may feel the way you feel so that there's less pressure or resentment building and you're able to look at it more in a loving place and in a, in a like you struggle because you have so much tolerance i feel for this person but then it goes back to like am i an idiot or am i like negative self-talk like beating yourself up over being patient with them but i feel like the patience with them is a good thing the only thing that's not good about it is when it ties you up so much that you're starving and your needs aren't met. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Meet me in the comments. And also I'm seeing that like only 20% of my um, viewers are subscribed. So please, if you like the videos, please hit subscribe. It helps the channel so much. Um, and tap the bell and, and select all so that you get notified. And then, you know, um, all the activity in the comments, the more, the better. I love when you guys support each other in the comments, but I'll see you there. Bye, Scorpio.